Hey, what's up guys, Zax here, and first of all, thanks for coming to part 2 of this video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed part 1, and this is what you built so far. Um, we show the rest just now. The rest is just basically adding it all together and uh, putting it to your um, output, which I've got a door here. In another video, I had a piston door. Um, if you want to throw on that, uh, just let me know in the comments section below. Um, okay, now what I do is I'll start with here at the front, obviously. Um, you want to add two bits of redstone wire, then a repeater, and then just another bit of redstone. Like that, um, and then you want to do the same here. Um, except you want to get rid of that button now, because it's no longer needed. Um, and then here, you obviously want to add a AND gate. Just do it quickly for you. Right, and then you want to add a torch on top of there, torch on top of there, torch there, and then a bit of redstone there. Um, and then you want to repeat this process for the next um, next three. Actually, if I paste a repeater there, aha, bypass it, don't delete the button there. Um, Whoops! There, and these should be off. Obviously, cuts an iron gate. Okay, now that's the first set of AND gates complete. Um, now you want to link these two here to another AND gate, so you just take them straight out. Probably the best thing to do. Uh, I'll stick a repeater in there. I use too many repeaters, but it's better than using not enough. Okay, now torch there, torch there, torch there, and then rest on there again, and then that should be off, because it's another hand gate. Um, now you want to take these two here to an hand gate. One more. And then, same as the other times, add a torch there, torch there, and torch, and a bit of redstone there. Turning it off, and now you can lead your redstone round to whatever you want to power. I'm just choosing a door for simplicity. Oh, wait, can't stick it there. There you go. Right. And that's it all wired up. Um, I'm going to give a quick test here. Hopefully I've not uh, effed this up. One, three, five, seven, nine, and eleven. Hopefully that should go all the way around and I've missed one of them. Let's see. What have I missed? That torch is off. So that one's done. That torch is off. So that one's done. So it's uh, these two here. I need to go ahead again. Um, nine and eleven, and that should turn them off, but it's not for some weird, awkward reason. Let's try taking that and see what that does now, just for hitting them. Um, nine, eleven, and that opens the door now. Um, I don't know what's there, it must be glitchy redstone. Um, just add that back in. It's weird because it's never happened before. Um, you go hit the reset, and that'll reset it all. Um, you can also add a optional reset button out here if you'd like, but um, 
if you do this, you can add a reset one outside. There you go, and then just add a block there with a button on it. And when you push it, lights up the redstone and resets the whole circuits. Um, so you can see all these on again. Um, that's it done, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this, leave a like, please. Um, if it gets like some like a ridiculous high amount of likes, I will do it so you can change the combination of the locks, something along the lines of 40 likes, and I'll also add in the uh, piston door that I had in my uh, my showcase video. Um, you can favorite it. This again, yet again, even I don't see the point in favoring it. Um, it's just a tutorial. If you want access to it, you can favorite it, but that's about it. Subscribe to my channel, please, uh, for more epic stuff like this. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys.